We've reported in the past about the McAllen American Legion and their efforts to preserve one of the valley's historic artifacts. It is a relic from World War I, thought to possibly have been used by Pancho Villa himself. Channel 5's Marisol Villarreal spoke with the organization and members of it on this newly restored World War II gun. Brotherhood. Boom. Everything boom. <laughs> That's what it took to make a dream a reality. We thought unanimously as a membership that it was a great project. Uh, it had been brought up before, but we just never really initiated. Commander of Post 37, Noe Alvarado, and his fellow comrades of the American Legion in McAllen felt they had a responsibility to preserve one of the Valley's own historical artifacts from World War I. It was, it was always a lot of talk. They said that, it, it, you know, you're never going to be able to get it done. It's going to cost too much money, this, 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 and this. And, and we looked at each other and said, you know, when have we ever given up on anything? After two years of collecting money and fundraising, the Legion was able to pay a grand total of $16,000. It went from looking like this to this. And now that it has uh, been restored, we can also take it out to the public and show it off a little bit. The only reason that this gun would have been in this region of the country was during uh, Pershing's, uh, Pershing's uh, chase of Pancho Villa during the Mexican punitive expedition back in 1917. The American Legion plans to take the newly restored gun out to school districts, border patrol, and future veteran ceremonies. In McAllen, Marisol Villarreal, Channel 5 News at 6. And again, that artillery from the World War I era.